and Eid Mubarak to any of my Muslim friends and Dali collectors out there who are celebrating the end of Ramadan. Um, so yeah, I have a bit of a different doll today and her name is Um Amira. Um, and as you can see, she is sort of a Middle Eastern um, doll line that I don't know a whole lot about, but she's very, very cute. So I thought she'd be fun to own open. So me and Tifa the cat will be doing just that in celebration. So yeah, the first thing that strikes me actually, and it, it literally, I was just thinking this as I was pressing record, like I can only see half of her face because of the box design. <laughs> so that's maybe not the the best start, but I mean, we can see her. It's just like, for some reason, she's sort of hidden behind there. But anyway, she has this really lovely, lovely art. I really love the face on this. It's really pretty. Lots of flowers, butterflies. Um Amira is queen of the house, it says. Meet Um Amira, the queen of the house. Her main purpose is to inspire and increase awareness and appreciation of dressing up modestly among children. And of course, um, this would be very much targeted for a Middle Eastern audience. So a lot of Muslim parents would maybe buy this for their child. It says down here, Alova, Muslim doll with, I don't know what that, an eye for girl an Eid gift for girls so you know happy Eid <laughs> um, yeah so that's her The it includes one doll who's dressed modestly in a long sleeved beautiful dress wearing a matching headscarf and handbag a pair of shoes one hairbrush and a prayer mat the doll has 11 joints which includes the neck upper arms elbows wrists upper legs and knees and it was made in the United Kingdom so yeah, I actually really like the box. Um, again, I I just I just think that's a shame because I think a doll's face is oftentimes what draws you to them. So to have her kind of cut off like that is a bit of a shame. But we'll mosey on. So I'm just going to open her up very quickly there, and we'll get started. So that was very easy. Oh, here comes Diva. Hi. <laughs> of course, she would sit right there, wouldn't you, little Scott? She's sniffing. Are <laughs> you playing with me? Go on. So one of the things I definitely noticed, she does have a very nice face, but for some reason, like the original artwork has her with brown eyes and the doll itself has these bright blue eyes. Now I don't mind, but I, I do like when the cover art kind of somewhat correlates with the doll you're getting. I just think that's that kind of works better. But anyway, so she's on this cardboard insert. It's kind of hard to record her because her box is quite tall. Um, so yeah, we're just going to flip this around. There's yeah very, very few simple little plastic ties holding her on. They're holding her head and such. First things first, it's this large pink butterfly comb with really wide teeth. So I'm not sure how useful that's going to be on this particular doll. We haven't seen what kind of hair she has yet, but I'll brush teeth with it. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, it's cute. I mean, it's very big. Oh, a lot of... The the cat is causing all sorts of chaos, as it should. Isn't that right, young Tifa Jen? So the next item we have is this prayer mat. So you've got like a kind of cute image of a mosque on a bright summery day. Some flowers and things. That's really nice. It's really cute. That's, of course, every doll of this type would probably come with a prayer mat. Maybe sometimes they come with prayer beads also. Um, I don't know, honestly. And now we're on to Amira herself, and I'm quite excited to see her. <laughs> she seems quite tall, but I think it's, her shoes definitely help with that. So we'll get to those, though. So first of all, 11 points of articulation, head, upper arm, elbow, wrist, hip, knees. Woo! <laughs> She's kicking me. How rude. Okay, knees, and what about your ankles also? No, not the ankles, but that's fair enough. We don't we don't judge, it's all good. So, okay. Yeah, one of the things I'm definitely noticing is that the tie used to hold her in the box has left a kind of a mark on her top, but hopefully that might just come out with time. So the, the material itself is nice, kind of a stretchy material. It's very light. You know, it's not too light, but it's, it's light. Oh, wait, do I have her arm bent here now that it doesn't want to go back? Oop, okay. She's a bit stiff, but she's been in a box. We can't blame her. So she has, like, this little shoulder bag that completely matches her outfit. 
the outer layer of her dress is this lovely sort of netting, sort of gl glimmery netting material. It's quite nice, actually. The underside is just the same fabric again. And I have to say, I'm loving her shoes. <laughs> They're very trendy. They've got all these kind of love hearts and things on them and the kind of a heel, which is nice. No. So yeah, she's, she looks really nice. Yeah, I like this. Aha, uh -huh. so I'm just wondering how this is held on. So there's like a little elastic here. Now I don't want to snap this because I want to be able to put this back on kind of as it was if I wish to. Oh dear, oh dear. So it's quite tight. I can see this, you know, elastic bands like this, they do rot over time. So we'll see. Maybe she... Blech. What is happening today? I keep dropping everything. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, so it's automatically a lot looser. So there's no Velcro or anything, I don't think. Yeah, so that just wraps around very nicely. Very nicely indeed. So that, that It's all just the one coloured piece. The elastic did kind of help, but I can definitely see that breaking down over time. And then we have this inner piece here. So it's just a plain white piece. Okay, so we have another elastic around her neck, which seems to be holding down her hair. Oh, Amira. Okay, we're going to have to cut that one. That one is very tight. Oh, I don't like doing this. But if we want to free her, we must do it. This is coming out of the huge ass scissors, but I'm going to be very careful, guys. Don't you worry. <laughs> no hair was hurt in the process. Here we go. Much better. Oh, she actually does have quite a lot of lovely black hair. So it's got this kind of top knot style. So these two areas are kind of held back here. Oh yeah, now we'll hopefully be able to take out this. Oh, it's kind of stuck. So yeah, oh, it's it's basically, you know, <laughs> I, hope, I never like when they do that. They, they sort of just put these plastic snaps right into the back of the head to hold on the accessories. I mean, I understand why. Again, very carefully. There we go. That was a good snap. She has such a lovely hair, a head of hair, actually. Let's see. And there we go. That wasn't so bad. So it's just kind of floofed out her hair. She's, I mean, she feels kind of, I don't want to say hollow, but she's not... I don't know how to explain her, I guess. Like, she doesn't feel like an expensive doll, if that makes sense. You know, you know she's kind of definitely a budget Playline doll. But with all of the articulation and everything, I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And again, she's taller than what I'm used to, as I keep using her to kick things over. So let's have a look at her lovely face, if we can kind of just get her to... There we go. So yeah, that's her lovely face, her hair. She has kind of a mark on her face there. Yeah, her hair is, is um, it's not very soft or silky, but I wasn't, like, for the price point and for, you know, hair play isn't necessarily the main point of the doll, I suppose. So, like, it, you know, I'm not expecting the most luxurious silky hair ever, but, uh, you know, it's still perfectly nice. There's plenty of it there. It's not, it's not amazing, but it's not awful. I think these are retailing for about 15 euro right now. And like for that price, you can get a lot of different dolls with like really great textured hair. So it's not necessarily that it it's not possible for such a price line doll to do really silky soft hair. I guess I'm just like kind of pampered by it with all the, you know, the recent dolls on the market. They all have this gorgeous sleek silky hair. And it, I mean, it looks fine. It's just, it's very bristly and kind of coarse um, but again you know it's not the main play point of the doll I guess but yeah I do I do love sleek shiny hair I must say but anyway like I mean she's she's really the point of uh, that she is trying to make by being made I guess is uh, to show that dressing modestly can also be fashionable and trendy and of course it can I dress quite mod modestly myself I mean you know that's a personal choice we all 
do what we do, uh, how we do it. I guess that's the, the joy of having choice. Um, like a lot of my Muslim friends are the most fashionable people that I know. Whereas compared to me, I look like I've been dragged through a bush most days. So, you know, um, like it doesn't have to be modesty or style. Like both are possible completely. So let's see. So she has bare legs underneath. I mean, you can see the the, the joint lines, I call them. I don't really know what they're called. But I mean, yeah, for an extra five euro in the budget, maybe. I don't know. I know a lot of my Muslim friends wear like leggings under things like this. So that would have been a nice extra touch. Maybe just a little pair of white leggings or something. Just, you know. No, I'm not saying everyone does that. I'm just saying, that, you know, a few of my friends, they would layer their clothes very much. Whereas this is all, it's kind of like, almost like a Disney princess outfit. But I don't know, it's not. It is what it is. It's like a gown, but it's also like a wearable dress. I'm not going to go down in there or anything, but um, yeah, it's all just one piece. So yeah, there's uh, Amira. I think she's really cute. Um, So yeah, for her price point online, like even the sculpting on her fingers, it's kind of, there's a lot of slick sprue, like oh, leftover plastic and stuff. Like she's not awful, definitely not like as a child and certainly like a, a child in a Muslim household, like if it were me, I would have loved to get a doll like this that actually embodies um, what I find important, you know. Um, like Barbie is, is amazing, of course, but it's, it's nice to see every style catered for. And I know, I think now there are Barbies with a hijab and that sort of thing, but um, yeah, this is more properly catered towards, I suppose, Middle Eastern values. Can I say that? Like... Obviously not everyone is the same. I'm not saying that either. I'm just saying, you know, it's nice to give the choice. It's like, this is a lovely aid gift. Aid? I'd. <laughs> it's a lovely gift. And if I was a Muslim child, I'd be very, very happy to have her in my dollhouse, honestly. I think her dress is incredible. Um, Yeah. I'm not sure how long these, like, will... I'm not sure how these will display again afterwards. So I'm just going to try that really quickly. Can she go into her prayer position? Yes, but it's kind of awkward looking. What do you think, Diva? Yeah, let's try it without the outer coat just to see. Yeah, so you can you can see that there the articulation does let you do kind of a prayer, but like there's no way her knees are coming up any further than this. So it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of an awkward one, but it, it I mean for the purpose of play for a little girl, absolutely fine. You know, she has her mat. Here. What do you think, Tifa? 10 out of 10? Yes, I agree. <laughs> so yeah, that is our beautiful Amira. I mean, she's she's a budget doll, so she's not going to be expensive. But I think for, for the price you're paying, she's she's pretty good. I mean, I would maybe, if you're into like better quality dolls, there's no reason why I wouldn't personally wait to get her on a discount. Um, You know, like... A, plenty of discounts I mean summer discounts <laughs> all sorts so I mean it depends on do you really really want a sort of Middle Eastern themed friendly doll for your child then absolutely go for her are you like a more serious doll collector that wants a doll to represent like, this sort of culture absolutely go ahead are you someone who loves posing your dolls and like takes real real I suppose pleasure in like the tiniest of details like that how perfect the the sculpting and such is wait until she's maybe on sale I or you could rebody her I suppose her her you could reroute her hair too it's not terrible it's just not amazing it's it's just a perfectly fine budget discount sort of doll but I think what she stands for is beautiful you know Tifa what are you doing <laughs> so rude can't have anything nice <laughs> so yeah honestly like if she was in, in around the 10 euro mark I, I, I don't know I think I'd just be a little bit happier about her I'm just I think the extra money probably went to her like uh, there's definitely money that was spent on that comb oh <laughs> Tifa like the, I mean this comb is a huge chunk of plastic it's huge I mean it's not 
no, it's it's not great for, yeah, no, that, we don't, we're not so much a fan of that. It'll work fine, but I mean, I, I wouldn't personally use it on any other doll but this one. So, yeah, that's my quick sort of review, I guess, on uh, Amira. I think her name means princess in Arabic. I quite like that. Amira, princess. Uh, you can see there actually with the fingers what I'm talking about, like the molding is just that little bit off. But again, she's cheap. Hi, Difa. <laughs> Do you like Amira? Yes. Well, I mean, she's got a fan here. <laughs> Please don't eat her, Tifa. There's no need. So it's goodbye from me. Goodbye from Tifa. I'm Murak. To all of those who are celebrating, have a great day. Until next time.